Welcome. Our next video is going to be about the main corona, the normal corona, which is at about 1 million degrees. To see this corona, we need to look at the iron 12 line as seen by the AIA instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Its peak temperature is about 1.2 million degrees. When you look at in one of these images, you see these bright areas. Those are active regions. Uh, they are basically above uh, sunspot groups. And that's where most of your flares and other activity comes from. The dark areas that you see here are two types. There's the polar coronal holes. You can see the northern polar coronal hole here quite well because the sun is tilted slightly towards us uh, in the north. You could just see a, a sliver of the south polar coronal hole at the bottom of the image. There are also lower latitude coronal holes shown here, uh, which sometimes can be as large as they actually cross the equator. And these are the ones that can produce high speed solar wind that creates geomagnetic storms. One of the other things that the Iron 12 line is useful for is looking at filaments and prominences. Here is a prominence seen in the usual helium 2304 line at about 50,000 degrees temperature. A prominence is a bright structure above the surface of the sun, on the limb of the sun. You can see the exact same structure here in the Iron 12 line, but it's not quite so clear. It's a dark shadowy structure. The one on the right here is an emission feature. The one on the left is an absorption feature. The plasma in that prominence is so dense that it's actually preventing some of the light from the bright corona behind reaching the observer. So it appears dark. Now, a very similar sort of thing happens when a prominence rotates onto the disc. You can see one here, uh, and that's called a filament. And on the disc, it appears dark because the disc behind it is brighter is sufficiently dense to stop some of that light from reaching the observer also. And the same thing is true in the Iron 12 line. It's also an absorption feature, which you can see very clearly. So these are the sorts of things that you want to look out for in the upcoming movie. Now, there's lots of different things to see here. So you're going to have to probably run through it several times to see all the different things going on. So we're going to look at an SDO AIA coronal movie. One second is approximately equal to one day. Watch for the evolution of the coronal holes. See active regions develop and decay. Look for prominences and filaments and do you see any erupting? Sometimes you can see a very special sort of configuration of a prominence in the Iron 12. It's shown here with the blue arrow. It's a dark feature just like before, but it actually has this sort of bulbous shape. A prominence is supported by and combined by magnetic fields. So you can see the large loops that overlay it and stop the prominence from lifting away. But then there's also the fact that you've got this cool material suspended in the uh, hot corona means that it must be also insulated from that hot corona by the magnetic fields. Hot plasma cannot cross magnetic field lines. When you see a prominence edge on like here, uh, you get a view of the configuration of those magnetic fields. And it looks very much like the theoretical models that people have come up with for prominences. You can see that large cavity there above the surface shown in red and that's called a coronal cavity. It's empty of hot coronal plasma. And so all you can see is the dark feature, which is absorbing any of the light from the corona behind it. That's it for today. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.